So second hand is about a proactive maintenance assistant that will help the technicians in the warehouse when they have to perform the regular preventative maintenance of the conveyor systems and they're reaching at, at height, they're operating with some heavy equipment, they're trying to hold things in parallel and require getting tools, maybe they're up a ladder and they, they need another tool. So the robot second hands is offering a second pair of hands to the technician. The robots are working directly with, with humans. So there's, there's, a, there's a systems engineering challenge in terms of the functional part of the robot, the physics of the robot, but also the sort of the social interaction and how people react to a robot in the environment in terms of safety or even just the, the response that you'd expect uh, to be able to understand from a system. So that was the overriding use case and the, the project then developed into a, a humanoid robot that would be able to have its own intelligence, would make its own decisions on where it could offer help proactively to the technician within their, their normal workflow. So we ended up with a few different academic partners that would solve some of the fundamental research problems going into this, this whole integrated robot. So we ended up with KIT, who are building the, the robot, the design of the robot, and working on the, uh, the grasping pipeline. Another part of KIT is actually working on the, the speech dialogue system, where the technician should be able to hold a, a conversation with the robot rather than just issuing uh, single commands and getting a, a, a plain response. The vision system from UCL will be able to recognise the objects in the scene, work out what the, the technician is, is doing by looking at the, the human pose. And Rome are providing the, the actual intelligence for the system. So they're, they're looking at the activities that the human is doing, working out where they are in the workflow and deciding what the robot should be doing in terms of its proactive help, moving it into the right location to, to help the technician. And including that is some workspace analysis from KIT for where it's safe to, to operate the robot alongside the human. And finally, EPFL are pro providing the biomanipulation where actually operating on the dynamics of the way humans hand over tools, humans hold things and, and share load between each other, that the robot will be able to mimic the same behaviour as, as the human, so that it's very natural behaviour for, for passing tools, for um, actually helping and, and uh, operating in the same space as, as the human. Arcado's part in that is the project coordination and the integration of all of these systems on the robot. So we worked on uh, different ways of integrating these components that allowed interoperability, but also the flexibility that the partners could operate in their own environments because of limited resources of, of only having the, the one robot to work with and being able to, to demonstrate the integration very rapidly between all the partners. Coming out of it, um, we, we hope to exploit many parts of it immediately. Uh, and, and we hope to, to see the robot continue uh, as, as a whole development into, into something that will offer proactive assistance.